while discussing the de broglie matter wave theory particularly <coughs> for deriving the expression for the de broglie wavelength we arrive at a very uh, important result and this result is written like vp equal to c square over v <coughs> where actually this v is interpreted as particle velocity and vp is called phase velocity of the matter wave now uh, seeing this result definitely a question uh, arise in our mind and what is that question why this question arise let us see as you know according to a special theory of relativity the speed of a particle v is always less than c where c is the speed of light in free space you know and as v is always less than c so definitely this c square by v will be greater than c okay it is obvious but uh, as c square by v is the measure of vp phase velocity of the matter wave so you can say that according to this relation this vp must be always greater than c this actually result uh, uh, arise a dot arise a question in our mind that is it a violation of a, of a special theory of relativity or not so let us know about the answer the answer is not this is not a violation of a special relativity although this phase velocity vp is greater than c but this does not violate a special theory of relativity or einstein's postulate why because you have definitely studied in a special theory of relativity that this theory is based upon an assumption that any material particle or any signal or any information cannot travel at a speed greater than a speed of light c it means say the speed of material particle well, uh, material particle or any signal or any information okay that will be always less than c but here vp is greater than c which is called phase velocity you know in case of uh, wave particularly in case of wave theory actually this uh, phase velocity is just a mathematical description of the wave it has a, a no, it is not meaningful whenever you talk about the information carried by the wave actually we know that in particularly in case of matter wave the energy or an information travels at a velocity which is called group velocity denoted by vg not by vp and according to special relativity information cannot be faster than light so here when you talk about the de broglie matter wave the information is carried by a speed which is called group velocity and that group velocity is not greater than c that is less than c okay uh, if you talk about uh, a free particle in motion then particularly in free particle the group velocity vg is equal to the particle velocity but this is limited it is only for free particle if the particle is not free actually then vg and v are related by a particular relation which is called actually dispersion relation but if you are talking about a free de broglie particle in that condition this group velocity is equal to the particle velocity and you know according to a special relativity this particle velocity will be always less than c so uh, you can say that uh, as v is uh, according to in case of matter wave v is always less than c and this group velocity is always less than c too and uh, the information is carried by this uh, group velocity you can say this is great less or equal not equal to but always less not equal to okay this vg may be equal to v which is called particle velocity so finally we conclude that as uh, in case of matter wave 
the information or the signal is carried by the at a speed which is called group velocity and it is always less than c so there is no violation of a special relativity according to this very formula vp equal to c square by b because vp is the velocity is the phase velocity and information is not carried at phase velocity so i think you can you have definitely understand that the formula vp equal to c square by v is not a violation of a special theory of relativity thank you very much